everyone, Coach Antoine Haven here with Atlanta Fire United South, and we are in our new installment of Keep It Training. Um, so today we're going to do a variety of things um, in this session. want to add a lot to it, mix it up. Um, so as you can see, my setup is real simple, about eight steps apart, um, trying to mimic a real size goal, and then at an angle, uh, maybe about six steps apart, all right? Um, so today what we're going to start off with is I'm going to start off in the middle of the goal at which point Mike is going to throw a ball in the air and I'm going to run out between the two cones at an angle make a catch I'm then going to retreat back and then I'm going to sprint forward to the front same thing catch I'm going to retreat back and on the other angle all right so this is just pretty much getting you acclimated and getting you good with getting balls in the air at angles it, you know it might be a corner it might be a cross as well as coming forward to get a ball that's coming right at you all right so real quick um, no need to a uh, simple demonstration we're gonna just jump right into it where Mike is gonna play the ball and uh, we'll go from there so again we're mimicking I'm gonna keep her so of course I'm on my toes and go sprint out keeper Roll, I retreat back on my toes. Go! Keeper! Good. On my toes, I'm back. Go! Keeper! Good. And I'm back. All right? So if you notice, right, I was on my toes. Once the ball was in the air, I didn't sh sh uh, race to get out as fast as I could. I kept my eyes on the ball. I made sure I waited till it was at its peak and coming down. At which point I then came out, raised my knee, arms out so I can meet the ball at the highest point um, while saying keeper. All right, so very important. Don't rush out. A lot of times with kids, ball go in the air. First thing we do is we just sprint out without even looking at the direction of the ball. Boop, ball over your head in the goal, all right? So make sure I'm on my toes. I'm watching, feet back. Then I come out, all right? So. Good to go, ready for the second drill. See you then. All right, so the last drill that we went through, you wanna get about four or five um, times doing that drill, just so you can get used to making that run out, but not also that, but judging the flight of the ball, all right? So you don't get caught in that situation where it pops over your head. All right, so in this next drill, same setup, this time we're gonna do a little bit of sliding side to side, but we're gonna implement catching, and then we're gonna end with a high catch. So without the ball, I'll just do a quick demonstration. All right, so we're gonna start to the back of the goal. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slide, okay, to the post, and here I catch. From there, I slide, and I catch, slide at the angle, catch, I back pedal, then I come forward and high catch. All right, so a lot of movement. Um, it's gonna help you on your movement with your feet and also focusing on your high catch positioning and your feet, okay? All right, so again, we start as keeper. We get low and we slide. Yeah, ball. Good. And we slide. Good. Yeah, good. And we slide. Good. And we back pedal. Good, good. Toes, toes, toes. Keeper! And we come and get. All right, so a lot of movement. All right, so make sure that whoever's doing it, it, doing it with you is moving as you saw Micah sprinting back and forth. So a good workout for both of you. Make sure you focus on your skills, all right, and your movement. See you in the last drill. All right, Coach Anton here with the third and final drill um, in our keep a session training. So as you can see here, I have just regular two cones about six to seven steps apart. All right, so in the first two drills, we did some angling catches, coming forward catches, and then we're back pedaling catches as well, as well as high catches, all right? Kind of simulating corners and balls coming out of the air in front of you. All right, so to finish off this drill, we're gonna get back into a little bit of diving um, with a little directional changes, all right? So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna start from the middle, all right? So when I say go, as I shift 
here and touch, Mike is going to play a ball on the ground, at which point I'm going to have to react. Once I toss it back, I'm up again. I said the other clone. This time he's going to play the ball a little bit in the air, at which time I'm going to react, make a save. All right, so let's get this started. So remember, I'm here, I'm on my toes, and I slide. Good. Toss. I'm here. Toss. I'm here, and I'm up. All right? So you want to do this drill about four or five times, just so you can get the repetition in, um, and you should be good to go. Make sure your reaction is crisp and clean when you dive on the ground, getting up without using your hands, crisp and clean, using that ball to cushion your fall. Same thing, getting up, all right? So thanks again for watching. I will see you next week. Coach Anton.